going on guys, Mr. Domo here back again and finally I got a shipment from Collector Archive Services. As you can see I got 8 right here, vintage collection figures all recently graded. Really excited about the grades. Uh, there's one that I was kind of bummed out about but you know I'll show you that in a minute. And so uh, you know I'm really excited about that. Like I said man, I still got a few more things being graded at AFA and Collector Archive Services just that they're really backed up. You know Collector Archive Services moved to a new facility, uh, a bigger one. So. Uh, you know they should be uh, starting to pump out these uh, these carded or, or graded excuse me uh, figures or, or whatnot you know whatever is being graded uh, from this facility so uh, that's really awesome but uh, I, I technically had nine I did sell one thanks to uh, John over at the uh, you know action figure grader channel who really helped me out uh, selling that figure um, it, it was a duplicate so I, I you know I was just like why not sell it but uh, pretty much it was a duplicate of the same you know figure same card back and of course they receive the same grade so I, I'm not worried about it uh, so let me show you the one that actually I, I, I sold the duplicate one so the first one here of course we have the Return of the Jedi Boba Fett and this was the first release that doesn't have that weird uh, digital printout onto uh, the chest plate this one just was missing it and so this is a uh, this is a beautiful card back man that original blue sky card back just how it was released by Kenner and uh, so what it received is is a 95 which is a really good score this was released this year so 2021 uh, Hasbro Star Wars the vintage collection return of the jedi this was vintage collection 186 both fed and the way they annotated was they put uh, no chest dent so uh, i'm i'm kind of curious to see if uh if they're just going to put chest dent onto uh the second version which is, that's the one i have graded right or being graded at the moment so uh like i said i sold one of these uh same grade it received the 95 same figure same variant and everything like that so beautiful card back really excited to get this as a 95 i mean that's like the best score you're gonna get right like that's it, it's just really amazing uh it's still in the poly bag and of course you know they they always put in the uh, statement of archival uh which is a really nice touch and so really excited about this guy right here so uh another addition to my boba fett vintage collection uh you know collection and, and i'm really excited about this one so i'm really I'm, I'm curious to see how the other one's gonna come in should be receiving a 9095 it was a, a pretty minty uh card back uh so like i said i didn't want to mess with it I, as soon as I, I received it i threw it into a star case and then i sent it over to collector archive services so really excited about that one i'm gonna put this guy off to the side here uh the second second one here this was the Walmart exclusive uh, which was the, the one that shared the, uh, the the same number designation this is 177 Walmart exclusive this is the Mandalorian with the child deluxe set really awesome and as you can see right here this one was released last year 2020 uh, Hasbro vintage collection 177 Mandalorian with the uh, Walmart exclusive right there also received a 95 really awesome uh, again and this is a cool accessory uh, or a uh excuse me a, a variant you know to, to actually have like the deluxe and stuff like that you really don't see a lot of deluxes with the vintage collection so this was a really cool one to see and uh, again you know you do get the uh, archival uh, statement of archival in the back this was a Walmart exclusive so really awesome again really nice to get a 95 so another addition to like my bounty hunter right there uh, we got another Mandalorian right here and of course this the this this is the carbonized version of it. Uh, this was again another Walmart exclusive. Uh, beautiful car back. I really, really love this car back. It's a lot thicker. Uh, the figure looks really great, and the uh, that that foil treatment on this car back is absolutely gorgeous. Now this one received a 90. Uh, I think there was. A, I think right here uh, you can see there's a little uh, on the corners right there. Just a, just a little fold right there, but. A little ding but not not you know a 90 is still a great score as you can see right here on the label this is a 2020 Hasbro Star Wars vintage collection the Mandalorian carbonized and this was a Walmart exclusive like I said the bubble got a 90 figure got a 95 and the car back 90 so uh, just uh, probably just some scuffs on the bubble and that's a, that's another thing too man is this when uh, you know employees are, are putting these out or even when they're getting shipped by Hasbro sometimes these bubbles get scuffed up and and you know that does bring the uh, the grading 
rating of the card back down but still a beautiful card and a 90 i mean i'm, I'm not going to complain man that that is gorgeous uh there is the back right there of course it's got the statement uh so this one right here uh i want to say this release last year yeah this is a uh, last year so here we got luke skywalker in the stormtrooper outfit really cool uh this was a, a really nice one to to add on into my uh, stormtrooper collection here and to have luke skywalker in a stormtrooper outfit it's really awesome and of course this one received a 95 which is really amazing uh, this is a vintage collection 196 really awesome card and the, the the photograph there of Luke Skywalker in that stormtrooper outfit just amazing man uh, so as you can see right there uh, Luke Skywalker stormtrooper everything received a 95 besides the bubble probably little scuffs here and there but uh, a 95 again I am not complaining this is a beautiful card back like I said the art the photograph right there really amazing uh i think they did a pretty good job onto the actual 3d mapping uh, of the the face there of luke skywalker i'm not i'm not complaining but really awesome so there's another one right there uh and i think we're going back to the mandalorian again so here is the Mandalorian. Uh, this is the Vintage Collection 180, uh, 181, excuse me. And of course, this is the Mandalorian when he gets his uh, armor upgrade with the Beskar armor. Really awesome. Again, this one received a 95. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited about these cores. Uh, and of course, this is Vintage Collection 181, the Mandalorian uh, with the Beskar, uh, you know, armor right there. Another awesome one to add on to the variants of, you know, the Mandalorian. So really cool right there, man. Uh, let's see the next one here this is oh yeah so here is my revenge of the Jedi stormtrooper uh, I want to say this was a, uh, a, a comic-con a San Diego comic-con exclusive where you they had like a big set of like the Death Star uh, and it had pretty much all the carded figures there all the vintage collection carded figures into that and of course you know it was a homage to the vintage of the revenge of the Jedi which was originally gonna be the title for the return of the Jedi but then they changed it uh, and so here is the revenge of the Jedi really love this I had to get this one man unpunched I mean yeah, that it's, it's really really awesome and of course this one received a 90 at I mean dang that's a really good score so this is vintage collection 41 uh, so a definitely an older one this came out what 10 years ago so yeah 2011 Hasbro Star Wars vintage collection uh, vintage collection 41 return of the Jedi stormtrooper but uh, which is kind of weird that they added that return of the Jedi should have just said revenge of the Jedi uh, I don't know maybe that's a little typo on to collect the archive services but uh, even though man really really awesome and so here we got a 90 revenge of the jedi stormtrooper beautiful card back beautiful beautiful uh and then of course going back a little older uh i think this is the same year yeah this is a 2011 again this is the empire strikes back stormtrooper uh now this one is uh you know this one didn't receive a 90 got an 80 plus which is not too bad you know what i'm saying not too bad uh the figure got a, a i think so the helmet i i, I want to say the helmet got a little like sun bleach or whatnot uh, but as you can see the uh, card back at an 80 I think there was a couple dings around uh, it is unpunched which was really nice and uh, the the bubble got an 85 and then the figure got an 85 so I think the the, the you know the, with all of that definitely brought it down as you can see right here in that little corner right there you can see a couple dings on that uh, card back but still man I mean this is 10 years old really nice vintage collection 41 again pretty much came out at the same time when that revenge of the jedi uh san diego comic-con exclusive came out but really beautiful man and then of course i got one more right here this one's i was you know i was really bummed about this one man uh this is my han solo in the stormtrooper disguise and uh this one didn't do so hot and i you know i just uh man it kind of sucks i think there's a couple more things that i really didn't realize onto the card back uh, so it really brought the score on this one. This one released uh, two years ago. So this is a 2019 uh, Vintage Collection. This was a Target exclusive, uh, as you can see right there. This is Vintage Collection 143. This one received a 75 plus. So definitely the card back really brought it down. As you can see, the card back got a 75. Bubble got a 90. 
80, so bubble was pretty good. Figure got an 85, which is kind of all right, cool. Uh, but the car back definitely had had some issues and stuff like that, and I didn't realize it when I sent it in. You know, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, but this is a Target exclusive, so I, I, I definitely wanted to preserve this one because, uh, you know, that, that's pretty much it, man, with these exclusives. You know, once they come out and and and. You know, once they sell out, that's it, man. Uh, but here we go. We got Han Solo in this Stormtrooper uh, outfit. So uh, really awesome figure, man. And so that's that's what I got so far. I'm still sending in some more Mandalorian stuff. Uh, and then, of course, I still have some more. Uh, I want to say the Mandalorian definitely from the Vintage Collection. I definitely have more uh, Stormtrooper variants. And I think that's it for the Boba Fett besides the second release of Boba Fett with that digital readout. Uh, but those are all pretty much all the card backs that came back from Collector Archive services. I'm really excited and I'm a little bummed out about this guy. Uh, and, and the 80 plus for that one uh, for Vintage Collection 41, it's not too bad. It's still a good score. But the rest of them with 90s and 95s, I am not complaining. That is really, really awesome. So, uh, But I just wanted to show you uh, that, that pretty much this right here man my my recent uh haul from collector archive services and the next batch should be coming up soon because i, I kind of sent them like one month uh, apart or whatnot so hopefully i get that pretty soon and then i don't know when afa is gonna I, who knows man they're day they're taking a long ass time i i think i sent something from afa like at the beginning of this year and we're almost heading towards the end of this year so afa is definitely really backed up but that's pretty much it man let me know which, which one's your favorite and uh are you sending anything to collect the archive services or afa let me know in the comments below thank you for watching guys thank you for the support and i will definitely talk to you guys in the next video